Dan versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine. I definitely like keeping one Doomsayer. Do I ever keep both? It is a pretty good way to stall the game. Sure, why not? We'll try keeping both. Well met. I greet well you. Met. I don't think I need to coin the Doomsayer against that. I wonder if he's just control paladin with that as attack. I think I'm just gonna tap here. And then maybe next turn is tap Doomsayer and then I can tap Earthen Ring or something like that. I definitely know I want to be tapping. Yeah, I think I do like the look of Tap Doomsayer here. This Doomsayer is, of course, a lot more likely to die than the previous one. But I also think there's a pretty good chance it goes off, which looks like that is what's happening here. Oh, Stampeding Kodo. Let's just play some heals here. I could use the health, I'm getting a little bit low. And I don't really have much of another play. I couldn't tap that turn unless I wanted to play two cards. And it was kind of awkward to tap and play two cards. I could have coined or blood bloomed out the Siphon Soul, but Stampeding Coda is just a 3 5. I think I probably do have to Siphon Soul the 3 7. It doesn't really deal with the problem totally, but it makes a follow-up board clear a lot better. That's a solid Consecration. And I'm low enough that I probably don't really want to be using a Hellfire here. Do I have to play Twisting Nether on this board? That sure doesn't feel good. I can take a lot of power off of his board with Doomguard Soulfire. Well, it's just Twisting Nether here, I guess. The Doomguard Soulfire play is a little bit risky. The end is coming. Reporting for duty. I wonder what that Doomsayer is setting up for. Let's go ahead and tap. And I would like to get the healing out of this mistress. Probably wouldn't really mind getting the card out of this librarian. Jaraxxus was not what I wanted to discard there. Alright, well, the Cruel Dynamancer reviving a Jaraxxus is pretty sick. I wonder if I just toss my Dynamancer into a Doomsayer. Fuck it. And then we'll play the Voodoo Doctor here. So this dies and summons Jaraxxus. And then on turn 10 I play Nazoth. It brings back, I think, like a Mistress, a Librarian, and the Dinomancer. And then that Dinomancer will bring back a Jaraxxus. Okay. Solid response from the opponent. But I've got Nazoth. Double Peacekeeper. Is Hellfire good here? I think Hellfire is actually pretty good here. Puts me down to 10, I believe, after the Hellfire plus Mistress. Man, if I had a coin here, I could Blood Bloom Twisting Nether coin Alex. 
That would be sick. So many but I think just Hellfire is probably fine. I think Hellfire is probably the only card I'm playing here. I guess I'm always drawing a card with this, so we'll see what I get. But I think I don't really want to tap here. We want to damage this guy so he dies. Make this attack so this guy dies to the Hellfire. And then we get a Jaraxxus and our Nizoth is still alive. And yeah, I don't think I really have much reason to tap here. I'm at 10, which I think is pretty safe. I think 8 would probably be fairly safe. But I've already got like all of the power cards in my deck. It would be nice to pick up this thing. Or the other Dinomancer, but I just don't think I really need to. Although maybe I am tapping this turn. I don't really want to play Alex. I kind of have to Siphon Soul this anyway, so I'll still be at 11. Alright, I guess I'm tapping. If I'm tapping here, I probably should have tapped last turn. Um, let's just use the Nazoth's health here. I don't think there's much difference between 1 and 2 health on that guy. And I think my hand is too good to risk playing a Librarian here, so I just won't. That's a pretty weak turn. I wonder if I Alexstrasza aggressively here. I do have a Doom Guard and two Soul Fires in my hand. All right, let's go. I do want to kill this one one, but I really want to push damage too. How much is Doom Guard double Soul Fire? Assuming it all goes through, it's thirteen damage. So we do need to hit with Jaraxxus to get him in range of that. I mean, it's not super likely that I'll be able to play all of those, because, you know, they might discard each other. But I like to set up the potential for it to happen. Let's see, he heals for 8 here, Alexstrasza does 8 damage. At best, that's a Noble Sacrifice. Say it's not Noble Sacrifice, then I hit him for 11 here, he's at 9. Doomguard Soulfire is lethal, so even if I discard one of the Soulfires, I still have lethal. So let's make this attack and see what happens. Okay. So if I Doomguard first, the only way it's not lethal is if I discard exactly two Soulfires. If I Soulfire first, it's not lethal if I discard exactly Doomguard. So I think it's mathematically better to play Doomguard first here. I kind of wanted to play Spirit Singer Umbra plus Dynomancer for another Jaraxxus, but had to go for the lethal. I'm down for some priest bullying. I don't think I even really care to play Mistress on turn 1 against Priest. It doesn't really kill anything that he plays early, and if he plays a Northshire Cleric, it just lets him draw a card. Wow, the Radiant Elemental Power Word Shield. That's a strong turn 1. Oh, let's tap. Divine Spirit, Divine Spirit, Enter Fire? Nope. Just a 1-3. Let's go ahead and tap. And probably just play out the Mistress here. He probably makes this trade. But if he does this and doesn't heal, then my Hellfire can clean up. Or maybe even a Soulfire. And if he does heal his dude back up to a 2-5, then he's not playing anything else. The biggest punish is probably a Talon Priest. I feel like I haven't actually seen a Talon Priest in a really long time. Surely people still play it, right? I have eight cards in hand, so I guess I'm just tapping. My hand is really, really unexciting right now. I wonder if I'm playing Doom Guard to kill that Radiant Elemental next turn. I'm gonna have ten cards in hand, so I'm gonna have to play something. 
but man, there are a lot of cards in my hand that I don't want to discard. None of my other cards do anything, though. Let's discard Hellfire and Soulfire here. Alright, the Twisting Nether is actually pretty good in this matchup. But I do have the other Twisting Nether. I've got a Siphon Soul. I guess I can double Hellfire as kind of a Twisting Nether, although that doesn't even kill this Twilight Drake that's already on the board. I probably Hellfire here, just to kill the 4-2. And if he doesn't heal the 5-6, I can kill it with the second Hellfire. I do take a lot of damage with that line of play, though. can also just Siphon Soul this guy. By Hellfire, I can tap, but I go down to 12 after this thing hits me. I think that's fine. I'll go down to 12, but next turn I'll have Siphon Soul plus Mistress for heals. What if I play Hellfire here? I go down to 9, I leave 5 power on the board. That's probably not really acceptable. I think I need to Siphon plus Mistress here. Trust me. And then the following turn can hopefully be Twisting Nether, and then hopefully he won't establish enough to threaten a Jaraxxus. I can also just Siphon Soul here. The 5 8's the only real threat. The 2 2 can kill the crab. I go to 12. I'd probably tap down to 10. A Ball Talon Priest is a little bit scary, but not too big of a deal, I don't think. Let's just go for Siphon Soul here. I have all my threats, but no Dinomancers. Play another minion. Not really what I wanted to see. Beetleberries, my favorite. Am I safe to play Jaraxxus here? I think the only other play is Twisting Nether. If I play Jaraxxus, I can kill the Cabal Talon Priest and still be at 15. He'll only have 5 power. Let's just play Jaraxxus. And then I can support my Jaraxxus with a Doom and a Twisting Nether, maybe even a Deathwing. Make the attacks in this order so the Mistress actually heals me. He overdrew a Shadowbird Pain. Um, that's good against, like, Doomsayer, I guess. Alright, well that's getting Twisting Nethered. Almost, certainly. Yep. My Nazoth isn't very good, is it? I've only lost two Mistresses. So Twisting Nether Doomsayer to set up for a free Nazoth isn't really a thing. Probably better to just play Twisting Nether and get my hero power going. Pretty strong Tarim. So I think he only has one Ungoro card left, right? He played Biteweed, Tarim, Tortolan Forager, and Free From Amber. So he still has his Tortolan Forager card and one Ungoro pack card. Unless the Free From Amber was actually from his deck, I didn't pay attention. I think it was from the pack though. So I can clear with Weapon plus Hellfire here. I take six damage, go down to four, but then I can play an Earthen Ring Farseer. I have enough cards in my hand that I don't really want to play a Deathwing if I can avoid it. Start with this. And then I'm definitely healing with Earthen Ring Farseer. And I guess I'm just hero powering. Considering playing the Doomsayer again, but I think I'm fine just doing this. I guess if I had played the Doomsayer, I could have set up for an Alexstrasza on my face. 
But this might even be a matchup where I want to use the Alexstrasza aggressively. So I need to pick up two damage to deal with the 6-5. It's really only the Soul Fire. I guess the Doom Guard also does it. What if I just play Alexstrasza on his face here? I can set him to three. He would heal up to five, so a Soul Fire top deck wouldn't be lethal, but a Doom Guard would. That's probably not really a thing. I have eight cards in hand. Doom doesn't seem particularly attractive, although I could make this trade and then play Doom to only draw two cards. Could also just play it safe and Alexstrasza myself here. Actually, I guess if I Alexstrasza myself, I could just kill the Doomsayer. I don't even have to kill this guy. I'll be at a pretty healthy life total. Hungry Crab was probably the worst card in his deck. He needs 9 damage here. I don't think that's very easy for him to have. I don't think he's still holding a Draconid Operative card. And if he was, I probably know by this point that it's not a Doom Guard. It's a strong card to get off the pack. Pretty good Shadow or Death, but it did cost him half his mana. Going face, huh? I think face was probably the correct attack there. Because I probably want to be making this trade anyway. He could value trade here, but then I could just weapon into it, and I would take the same six either way, but then this guy's healthier. Anyway, Doomguard's not lethal, is it? 9, 12, 17. Even if I had a soul fire, it wouldn't be lethal. So my Nazoth is still not good here. I mean, I say my Nazoth's not good, but it does get me two mistresses. The only way I lose this game is running out of health. But I can also just keep clicking on my hero power, win the game like that. That's just hero power. I don't think I really have much incentive to do anything too aggressive. I think playing Doom Guard was fine there, but there are just a lot of cards in my hand I don't really want to discard. If I played the Doom Guard or the Librarian and discarded the Doomsayer, then my Cruel Dynomancer would pretty much be unplayable for the rest of the game, and I don't really want that to happen. I, I don't believe I've currently discarded any minions yet, so I think my Cruel Dynomancers are not active. But maybe once I pick one up, I can try to orchestrate some discards. Oh wow, that was actually really strong. Probably do have to play the Doom Guard here to deal with this. I can just weapon into this, I go to 6, I play Voodoo Doctor after 8, that's probably fine. I'm questioning whether or not I should play Doomsayer here. My board isn't going to be very strong, I guess I will have a 6-6 six, six on the board though. But this is probably the best chance to get the Doomsayer out of my hand if I want. And I really don't want to discard his Doom Guard. play Doomsayer here. Ah, uh, I discarded the Umbra. That's disappointing. Umbra was probably the worst discard there. Yeah, the Doomsayer is super questionable here. My board was, like, pretty good without it. But I think I'm just gonna let it go off. Or, I mean, I don't have a choice at this point. But if it goes off here, then maybe I can just, like, slam Nazoth or something. Maybe I just play Dynamancer now that I picked that up. Might actually hold my weapon at this point. I've gotten a lot of attacks out of it, huh? So this guy summons an Umbra. Probably not too good of a revive. But if I do pick up the other cruel Dynamancer and I have an Umbra on the board, then I can summon another Umbra. And then maybe one of those will survive. I can play this off, get some synergy going out of that. Silence! You fiend. So I make this attack a hero power for sure every single time. 
Do I play the Librarian here? Probably don't really want to. I really don't want to lose the Nazoth. I might even need to keep the Deathwing at this point. I really don't care about losing these Blood Blooms. They actually do nothing at this point. Whatever. Let's just pass the turn. I don't want to discard Nazoth or Deathwing. So he silenced my Cruel Dinomancer, which sucks a lot. But I believe after it dies, it still comes back off of Nazoth. Wow, he still has another Shadow or Death. That's insane. Let's play this guy in Hero Power, I guess. I've lost count of how many Ungoro cards he still has. Probably a couple. Okay. Please don't have an answer to Umbra. He's finally out of Shadow or Deaths. Hell yeah. So I should get two Mistress of Mixtures and two Dinomancers, and one of the Dinomancers will summon an Umbra, I believe, and I'll heal for eight. Let's see, I'm healing for eight, so yeah, okay. Oh, they actually summoned... I assumed it would summon all my death rattles and then these guys would trigger. So I actually got a little bit less healing there than I expected. That's a little bit awkward. Am I willing to go down to six? He can't kill me at six, right? What did he play last turn? No elemental, so I won't die to Kalamos. Let's just kill this thing. Imagine if I had discarded something stronger than Spirit Singer Umbra. Although I guess then I wouldn't have got those triggers. Is this just gonna come down to a Deathwing countered by another Deathwing? I mean, that has to be the play, right? I have no other answer. Oh my god, it's gonna be a fucking top deck war. But I'm going to have a 12-12 to start the top deck war. And my hero power is way stronger than his, so... As long as he doesn't have an insane draw, I think I win the top deck war. Is someone injured? Yeah, that's probably not quite going to do it. And I even picked up a heal. Okay. This 12 goes face every time. And I probably don't mind killing the Cleric. The one damage from it is insignificant, and I just don't want to risk him drawing any cards here. I think it would have actually been pretty hard for him to draw off the Northshire Cleric there. But let's just not risk it. Oh man. All that value generated, and then it just came down to each player discarding like six cards with Deathwing. 